You're far from home. Take a picture of that. <laughs> this is a cool little flag. I like it. Oh, this is all right. I do my hand. What's up, man? How you doing? We people are twice as likely to be arrested for marijuana possession if they are African Americans. If they are in your county, they are five times as likely. I will never have to face that as someone who's Caucasian. That's just wrong. It's just wrong. Yeah. And we need to fix it. And the best example of racism in the prison system is the marijuana laws. They are being used as an excuse to lock people up. Driving while black is not a, is not something that our country should be proud of as some reason to be breaking the law. People should be able to drive down the street regardless of what skin color they have, without being pulled over, without being harassed, and they certainly should not have marijuana as an excuse to make sure that these people are taken into prisons and, and, and lose their voting rights, lose their capacity to go to college. There's a lot of work to be done, but we've made a lot of progress in the last couple of years. And my hope is that Maine is going to be one of the next states to be able to legalize marijuana. Uh, but again, We will legalize it in Massachusetts in 2016. Yeah, we're going to legalize it. Then we're really going to see some changes. If you ever wanted to get in on the ground floor of anything, this is it. You've heard of the dot-com era, right? This is the dot-bong era, and it's going to blow that away. The cannabis industry is expanding exponentially, so explore your options and start a new career. Knowledge is our best weapon, and that's where the cannabis curriculum comes in. Educate yourself and educate others. Our government lies about medical marijuana. It's what I call a catch-422. Catch-422. Our government says that marijuana has no medical properties, even though it's been proven 
to be good for pain, nausea, epilepsy, and many, many other ailments. Our government's circular logic is really jerking patients around. So, Boston is a world leader in medical research, so I challenge you, if you work in a hospital, a university, or at a drug company, I want you to study medical marijuana and prove and show everybody how safe and effective it really is. That's the cannabis curriculum in action. Industrial hemp is great. Hemp is woven into the fabric of American history. You can go over to Charlestown, visit the USS Constitution, the oldest commissioned warship in the U.S. Navy. They used over 60 tons of hemp rope on old Ironsides, and they made that rope all around Boston, including right across the street where the public garden is. Alrighty, so we need people to document hemp's great history. Hemp is the green buffalo. Native Americans used the entire buffalo to survive. Hair, snoot, balls, and all. And you can use the entire cannabis plant to make so many useful products. I'm covered with hemp today from herd to toe. This speech was written on hemp paper. And this is our declaration of hemp dependence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that we are all equal, and we have been endowed with the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of hempiness. I don't want to be up here preaching to the choir now. I want to preach to the preachers. I want you to come out of the cannabis closet and let everybody know how great cannabis hemp is and how truly devastating its prohibition is. You can be like Paul Revere. Let everybody know the cannabis is coming. The cannabis is coming. All right, thank you very much. Coming up next, we have another great longtime activist, Terry Franklin, with Bay State Repeal, because we will legalize in 2016. Activist of the Year was uh, Miss Diane Fornbacher. Does anybody know the name of Diane Fornbacher? Ladybug Magazine, uh, uh, Women's Normal Alliance, National Women. Yay! I know that it's NWO. Um, the local activist, the local male activist, was a gentleman you saw speak up here yesterday. You'll see him walking around. He goes by the name Mike Can. Yay! Yay. The female local activist is a woman named Kara Crab Burnham. You Woo! haven't really seen her unless you can like decipher blurs because she's running around like crazy. Give a shout out to all of the cats at Last Can Normal that are working their ass off to make sure you guys are having fun. I think the speaking award at the rally went to Mr. Rick Cusick. Yeah. Of High Times Magazine, he usually does our 420. And um and the Lifetime Achievement Award went to Ms. Mr. Lester Grinspoon. So please give it up for Dr. Lester Grinspoon. I'm sorry.